come to remember when police are still answering crash calls the day after it passes. This morning, Bismarck Police had more than 175 crash reports on the books, and they estimate that number reached closer to 200 or more by late today. In Mandan, police took about 75 crash reports. Well, the icy conditions were bad news for many drivers, but it kept tow truck drivers busy. Bella Crafts shows us what kinds of situations they've been dealing with. Calls are almost non-stop at Ace Towing. Thanks for holding, how can I help you? Since Christmas evening, tow operators have been busy helping people get out of the ice. My boss come in and said that he hadn't slept since probably 2.30. The phones were ringing off the hook, him and his wife were answering them. They had probably 50 calls waiting when they come in, just waiting for the roads to be cleared off. And it went all day long. The slick conditions are causing trouble for operators to safely get to vehicles. We can actually get to the vehicles when there's a snowstorm. This, there's so much ice that even sometimes the sand trucks couldn't make it up the hills and stuff to get them sanded for us to get vehicles. In most cases, people waited one to three hours for a tow, but sometimes more. There was one that was called in yesterday at 9.30 a.m. In, up north in Bismarck in a parking lot, and my driver is currently on his way there right now, uh, and he still doesn't know if he can get it because we don't know if the parking lot's been sanded or anything because we hooked up to it yesterday and couldn't move. When it's time to get the car away from a curb or a neighbor's driveway, it can be a hit or miss. The ice makes a vehicle unpredictable. Because no matter what you do, you just can't, like we could hook up to cars and you just can't move. On Tuesday, Ace responded to more than 100 crashes. And 24 hours later, Alexa says more people were calling in for crashes that happened the day before. It's been slower, but still not, still pretty busy. Tow drivers are sliding into new challenges with every call, but they say they are determined to help everyone. A lot of times we get them because they wave us down and we're already there, so we'll get them out and we try to stay on top of things as best we can. With a little salt and a lot of sun, drivers hope soon the roads will be back to normal. In Bismarck, I'm Bella Kraft reporting for your news leader. Cranber says the most frequent accident calls were at the five-way intersection of Avenue C, Griffin Street, and Ward Road.